Hey guys, Jesse here from Vertech, and today I'm gonna to show you how to pull apart your HT series 10 centimeter cone. So the first thing that we're going to do is clamp the cone in a vise. You're going to want to clamp the cone right here on the part of the cone we call the collar. That is the piece right between your friction sleeve and the back shell, which is the piece that we're trying to pull off today. So the first thing that you're gonna do is clamp this uh, pretty tightly in a vise. Make sure that you're not clamped on the sleeve anywhere and make sure that you're not clamped on this back shell. The next thing that you're gonna do is take your CPT cable and plug this in. The reason why we're gonna do this is to make sure that we don't spin the limo harness inside the cone. So I'm gonna plug this in. Now I'm actually gonna hold this. This is, happens to be a shortened cable, but I'm gonna hold this one with my hand. And then I would take a pair of pliers, channel locks, vice grip, clamp on right here, and I'm gonna loosen this up. And as I'm loosening this, I'm making sure that this doesn't spin. See if I don't hold on to it, this, uh, the cable will actually spin, which is spinning that harness inside the cone. So make sure that you have this held firmly and then you're pulling this off. Once you have this loose, it should start to unthread by hand. And once you have it pretty loose, you can go ahead and pull out your cable. Now inside here is a limo connector. I'm actually visually watching it, making sure that it's still not spinning. And once this is pulled out all the way, there are two uh, split rings right here. These split rings sit just below the stainless steel little collar on the connector. You're going to remove those by hand. and that exposes that connector that can sometimes spin on you. The next thing we're going to do is pull off the actual back shell, which is this entire housing here of the cone that covers the electronics. So you can take a spanner wrench, which is what I'm gonna to use today. This is the ideal tool to use. If not, uh, you can use a pair, uh, I guess you could use a pipe wrench, I suppose, would be the next thing that you would use. So I'm gonna lock this on and then give this a good turn. This one's already been loosened up a bit. And this just unthreads. And once you have this unthreaded all the way, I'm gonna carefully pull it up. Make sure that I'm not bending it either way because there's a board in here and I don't wanna break it. So I'm gonna pull it straight up like this which is going to expose my circuit board and that limo harness. The next thing I'm going to do is pull up this plastic tube. Same thing, be very careful not to damage anything. Before I put this in the oven, I'd actually look at this tube, make sure there's uh, no moisture on the inside of it. If this tube looks foggy or you see any condensation, that's a good indication that the cone got wet, which is probably what's causing any uh, connectivity issues or uh, drifting in your channels. The next thing you're going to do is unplug this J connector here and this black J connector here. They're almost identical on both sides. So I'm gonna pull up this little piece of heat shrink here. And if you get in there with your fingernail, you can kind of pull this up. So you just push down on the little tab and it lifts up. Then you pull down on this little tab here. This one lifts up as well. And then the last thing that we would do is unplug this J connector here. And this one disconnects the same way. And then this J connector right here. Once you do that, this is ready to go in the oven. You should not dry it above 150 degrees. And I would suggest drying it overnight. Once it's all dried and you're ready to reassemble, you're gonna plug in all of your connectors. You're gonna slide this tube back over and then Thread your back shell back on. And then this is one of the most important parts. Once you have your back shell threaded back on, you're gonna take those little split rings that we had, slide those underneath this limo connector here. So those are gonna fit underneath it like this. And before you actually thread on this last piece, we're gonna plug the cable back in again. And that's it, it's that easy. If you have any questions, give us a call, 802-728-4588 or email us, sales at vertexcbt.com. Thanks.